It's open for business. Good morning. I'm Frida Liu, and we've got two finalists uh, from the Alliance Bank SME Innovation Challenge. There were 20 finalists. Um, so today we've got two from Skudai Johor. Not a, not planned. It was a coincidence. Uh, we've got uh, Eugene Ao from Shapey and Ko Kang Siang from Tech Care Innovation. So I'm going to start with Eugene first. Uh, Eugene, your company is Shapey, right? Tell us about Shapey and uh, you know this business of yours. Hi, morning. I'm Eugene. I'm the founder of Shepi. Shepi is a local fashion brand that specializes in women's slimming and shopping wear at an affordable price. Uh, our products are designed for users to get slim and shape, as we believe that women of all shapes and sizes want to look their best. That's mm-hmm. why we bring you Shepi. Okay, so when you say it's affordable, mm. how how affordable? Okay, basically we are our price range is from uh, forty five all the way to one hundred or five. And you are able to keep it at this price? Yes, because we want to make it affordable, make everyone can afford to buy a shapewear. Where, where is this technology from? Okay, basically this technology is coming from Japan. It's a 3D micro massage technology where you can uh, burn your fats while uh, uh, body movement. Mm, okay, so now, uh, so you're, and it's always women now? Uh? That's yes, of course. You're just, you're just catering to women anyway. <laughs> so uh, how are the products distributed? Okay, so basically currently we are distributed to uh, Baby Boutique, uh, majority coming from JB and we are expanding to KL currently. Uh, yes. So right now JB, uh, jo- ra- la- JB, not even Johor, JB at the moment. Uh, yes. Okay, so now your company is about three years already, right? Yes. What, what were, were some of the challenges in starting your business? Okay, uh, for a start actually when we want to list in our product to Baby Boutique, right? Most of them don't really believe this type of product because, you know, usually for traditional uh, shapewear, they are selling at very expensive price. But for us, we are targeting a very affordable price. Mm-hmm. And then uh, most of the sh- uh, baby boutique owners, they don't believe that this product can really sell in their shop, you mm-hmm. see, because uh, this is totally new to them. Then we, we actually, we convince them, we say, uh, try to list in, and then you see the result for three months. Mm-hmm. Then ultimately, they really, you know, customer coming back, saying that the result is so good that, you know, they can really slim down to and, get shape. And you, so you basically, you sell it at the baby boutique so that the mother after delivery. Yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the target market. Um, and, you know, you've done this for, for three years now. Um, tell us about some of the, the testimonials Okay, uh, we have one customer like she bought it like last year December. Mm. She 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 bought she bought a seamless tanky shapey seamless tanky XL size. Then after three months she come back later. So we were wondering why you come back later. She said, oh, I want to buy L size. So we were amazing. We are amazed, you know, with the result. So we say, oh, then the customer feedback to us, the your product is really good, you know. I can really like uh wear daily five to eight hours daily. Then can really get the result. Okay, so and and right now you have what twelve types of products? Yes, ranging from ranging from because we are modern shape way, so we we actually we focus on targeted zone. Like for example, if you want to uh, slim your arm, we have arm shaper, we have waist shaper, we have high waist body shaper, we have ten top. You know, thigh shaper. <laughs> Thigh for the thighs. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we have it as uh, as well. <laughs> okay, so you mentioned all my problem areas. Um, so how are you? So in terms of marketing, what else do you do in terms of marketing? So basically, we use we leverage a lot on uh, social media marketing, particularly in Facebook and Instagram. We promote our product through all these type of channel to actually to 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 tell the customer the result. You know, to see the testimonial, how how effective is it? Okay, so so right now, uh, people can buy through the the baby uh, just baby boutiques, uh, in JB, and they can buy online as well. Yes. Okay, so that's how you've been doing that. Now, uh, price range of uh, forty five to hundred. Okay, so and this is this is um, and how are you able to keep it at this price? It's not as expensive as it should be when you compare to brands outside. Yeah, because uh, actually our uh, in terms of technology wise mm. we are we are actually this is the mass technology that uh, imported from Japan and then this is widely used by any other brands but uh, none of them uh, bring it to Malaysia mm. so we want to make it affordable for everyone okay so and this is your third startup yes what happened to the first two okay first two we are doing retail mm. but uh, 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 unfortunately we fell and then we we realized that 
uh, this product, this particular product, Shapey Shapeway, can really grow very fast and then can scale very fast if we're doing wholesale business. So what was the first two businesses? Also clo- clothing? Yes, clothing. Oh, so just general clothing? Yeah, uh, similar to Shapeway. Oh, yeah. okay. But this is your own brand yeah, right now. Yeah, this is my own brand. Okay, I'm going to talk to the other guy uh, who's based in Skudai, originally from Penang, uh, Ko Kang Siang from Tech Care Innovation. Um, tell me about Tech Care Innovation and where the idea started. Hi, good morning all. I'm Ko from Tech Care Innovation. Tech Care stands for Technology That Care. So we are a technology company that develop uh, rehabilitation and fitness devices, mainly focusing on compact, portable and affordable design. Mm-hmm. Uh, what we do is uh, we build the device for people. Why we started this idea is uh, it started from during university time. I joined a Robocons where it is a robotic competition and we learned a lot of skill building the robots and we spend days and nights without sleep and eat. And until one day after one year, I was wondering why we want to struggle so hard to learn all these skills. Is it just a uh, for a better job or mm. just to win the competition. So I asked around my friend and they say, hey, okay, it's okay, just win the competition is good enough. But for me, there must be something behind it. So af- after wonder, uh, thinking of this question for two years, I until I visit one of the stroke center and I saw a young patient, as young as me, who is dragging his leg in the rehab center. Mm. And I can feel how hard his life is. And that time, I really want to help him. Mm. So that's why we started Tech Care Innovation, where we want to build technology that care to help the people who need it. Okay, and right now, it helps in what areas of the body? Um, we developed several, several devices in the past. For example, CR2 reaching is more to shoulder and elbow. Mm. CR2 haptic is more to wrist, forearm, and hand training movement. And also, Innovabot is more to balancing and anchor rehabilitation. Okay, uh, so you've both addressed my problem, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so this ankle, I mean, so this uh, what, inner uh, Innova board, yeah. right? So, so what is what's the the thinking behind Innova board? And you've re- uh, trademarked this, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. So what what's how does Innova board work? How does Innova board work? Is uh, is like a wobble board mm-hmm. where we have incorporate our sensor inside. It used by connecting to a mobile device where there is uh, apps we can download, we open it, we can do assessment. Within 10 seconds, we can know how high the risk of getting fall, how good is our balance. And we provide training program where we can select different kinds of trainings for different user. Hmm. And the best part is we can actually play games while doing the trainings. Oh, how does that work? So how, how does it work is uh, we're standing on it, there's a game inside, we can select different kinds of games. What they need to do is to move their body and to get as much score as possible during the games. Okay, and at the same time they're exercising their ankle Correct. or what have you. Oh, okay. at the same time they are building their balance and improving their ankle. And research has shown why 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 is the ankle so important? Uh, why ankle is so important because it relates to our balance and our uh, study shows that after thirty years old our balance start to drop mm. until sixty five we tend to fall. Mm. So we have we have weighing skill uh, to measure our weight in our home. We have a blood pressure monitor to measure our body condition, but we don't really have a balance monitor device in our home. So uh, until 65, when we tend to fall, it's very serious already. Mm. So what we're trying to do is we want to create a device where people can actually use at home to monitor their balance from time to time okay. and they can improve it. Okay, so this com- your company is about two years. How, who have you been selling it to? Uh, we haven't sells to uh, anyone, but we have pre-order from sports centers mm-hmm. and uh, distributor from Hong Kong mm-hmm. so, and also Singapore. Okay. So we are now in the next stage, we are going to do clinical trial mm-hmm. to test the devices and we are planning to release in the next two to three months. So next two to three months and that's to the end user. Have you got a price range for it already? The price range is about seven to nine hundred okay. per unit. Okay, so you're not too sure yet in terms yep. of the pricing. Uh, what has been the, the challenge in setting this company up so far? The challenge is uh, we are from uh, engineering background. Mm. Um, we are lack of uh, clinical uh, expertise in our team. So what we do to overcome these challenges, we are fortunate enough to find great partners 
we are working with hospital and rehabilitation center where they have a lots of uh, expertise inside this field and then we work together to build technology to help the patient who need it okay so this these products basically uh, was developed uh, as a st when you were a student yeah correct a final final year student yeah so you decided to develop it further yeah okay because I, I realized a lot of time we, we every year we spend uh, a lots of times and money to build our so-called final year project mm. in during university and I realized a lots of projects are very good but the things is they are discarded after they graduate from the school so I think it's kinds of ways mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do is we want to further develop and really put the idea and project to the people who need it mm. and that's what it's all tech is about. Okay, so university students just do it, pass the exam, bye bye. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll, we'll talk about your plans for expansion and if you guys win uh, after this, Eugene uh, Ao, Yao from Shapey and Ko Kang Siang from Take Care Innovation. This is open for business, BFM 89.9. Best for money. BFM 89.9. It's open for business. Good morning, Frida Liu here. I'm speaking to two of the 20 finalists for the Alliance Bank SME Innovation Challenge, which is in its fourth year. Uh, these two gentlemen happen to be from Skudai, Johor, based there anyway. Eugene from Shapey and Ko Kang Siang from Take Care Innovation, uh, both with products that are suitable for me. One is to shape my tummy, the other one is to help with my ankle. Um, you know, we're taking part in this in uh, this this. Uh, challenged, right? You, and you guys have also gone through these courses over the last couple of weeks. I know you had a CEO chat room, uh, you had strategic influencing, you had lean marketing, and you had presentation impact. So going through these, uh, you know, like for these, these courses, has it helped you um, in your business anyway, or even change your business direction anyway? I mean, what has been most impactful for you, Eugene? Okay, so basically for the, I think for me, uh, presentation skill really helped me a lot because uh, for us, we are like kind of like traditional business model. We don't really get uh, many chances to present in front of investor or even public, you see. So uh, through the courses that uh, we learn how to uh, sharpen our presentation skill, how to actually communicate with the audience, how to interact with the audience and also how to convince the audience, mm. you know, to believe our brand and also our product. So that has been most uh, interesting for you. Yes. Okay. For you, Ko? For me, I learned a lot is uh, one of the strategy called women's strategy mm. uh, teaching during the workshop. Mm. So before doing the business, we we uh, we don't have experience in doing the business. And I was keep thinking how we can work with partners because in business, we need to work with partners to go further. And then until I joined this workshop, learns one of strategy, we mean strategy where we can actually utilize very minimum resources, but to build a big impact. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, one of the instructor, they give an example where they're coming from overseas and then they go to a Bangkok. Within one week, they can organize an event without spending any monies on it. So it's kind of surprised me and inspired me to think and the possibility of working with different partners with limited resources by using Remain strategy. So it makes you think about how you can do it with your business as well. Correct. Okay, if you all win, what are you going to do with the money? So for me, we, uh, the cash prizes we divide into three. 40% will focus on building our production and R&D facility. So 30% will, we will recruit more talents to build our team. And the 30% will more on the market developments and business development. Yeah. Okay. For you? So basically, uh, our company is still very lean. We have only four main powers. So we are going to uh, allocate a uh, uh, lump sum of them, go to uh, talent, mar talent management to actually recruit talent, to actually grow our brand mm. even further, and also to invest in marketing to actually to increase our brand awareness because currently we are in JB, we are very strong. Mm. So we are expanding to KL as well as overseas. Okay, so that's applied expansion. Yes. Expansion. All right. And, and I just uh, wish you all the best. Uh, top six is the next <laughs> the next uh, goal you all have to achieve. That's in November, I know. Uh, thanks for being with us. I know you're both driving to Johor after this. Uh, Eugene Yao from Shapey and Ko Kang Siang from Tech Care Innovation, a finalist for the Alliance Bank SME Innovation challenge you've been listening to open for business bfm 89.9 thank you for listening to this podcast to find more great interviews go to bfm.my or find us on itunes bfm 89.9 the business station